Okay, we have established our folder structure and now we are going to create some test cases. Let's just jump right in. Here we have end-to-end -end test folder and then we have a to-do Cypress. So here it uses Mocha to define test cases like describe my web app. And for my web app, I want to make sure I can log in. So I'll just keep it very simple. We can also run before each, but we will take a look at that later. So I'll remove some lines here. You want to keep this one because when you have this, Visual Studio Code understands, oh, you're trying to use Cypress. So when you do all cookies, so you will see all the autocomplete things right here. If this wasn't here, it wouldn't understand, as you can see. So what I'm doing is I'll, I'm just hitting control space to show this. So we'll keep that right there. I'll just remove some of the things around here as well. I'll remove the rest of the things. I will just keep it simple. So here, this is very easy to start. Okay, in my web application, I can log in. I'll just keep it very simple. So I will use your web application to automate some login. I have some credentials like test at test.com and password is one, two, three, four, five, six. That is what I'm going to use. So for this, we need to let Cypress navigate here, right? So Cy, okay, Cy Cypress visit this part and then we will take the email address. So here I'll just right click and inspect element and I'm trying to find a good CSS selector. So you will see right here, some of the styles are applied based on the classes this input has, which is shadow SM. It is right here. So shadow SM means, okay, assign some shadow to this input, which you can see there's actually a little bit shadow right here. So what I would like to do here is I want to grab type email. So instead of using class, I can either use this or I can use placeholder or something else. I think this is this one makes the most sense because if the login page changes, the type email might be exist because when developers rewrite this code, they might use the same input. So I'm going to use this, but since I'm not using classes, this will require brackets. So I'm just going to click hit control F or command F based on the if you're using Mac, it should be uh, Command F. If you're using Windows, it should be Control F. So I'll just make sure I can actually navigate to this input with this selector. If you're using any attribute like type email other than class, you can use that. You can also use like ID as well. Oh, it actually makes sense to use ID as well. But what I would like to use, I would like to use type email. We can also put like input in the beginning to make sure. Okay, use the input that has email type on this page. I'm just going to grab this and and what I'm going to do, I'll just say get. Okay, get me. I'm just going to use double code. Uh, single quotes and then i'm just going to say type to this field to the email field test at test.com let's see how it's gonna run so i'll just open my cypress and run to do let me make this one bigger okay i'm logged in already so i'm going to log out so what i'm going to do just rerun my test okay so i was able to log in quickly as you can see okay now we were able to type our email address correctly in the email address input now we want to put our password so for this i'm going to use this thing which will automatically give me the selector and sci.get so let's click here and then we want to get the suggested selector from cypress most of the time it works sometimes it doesn't work so i'll just click here and what i would like to do i want to show password right here as you can see it gave me sci.get and then the corresponding selector right here when i hover it it actually shows me the password i'll just copy to clipboard and go back to my test so here i want to just say type one two three four five six which is my password so here i want to also click on sign in right after typing our password i'll click here as you can see that's also id which is very good i want to use that I'll, die. I'll do that click and if i save this test we'll see that we can put our email pa address password and click on sign in and then we were able to click sign in automatically so what i'm going to do i want to make sure cypress knows that we see this page the way we can do this is okay cypress make sure you say good morning test user after clicking on sign in so how we can do this i want to make sure we see this in 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 our test scenario Okay, it didn't copy let's copy this and what i'm going to say should okay this thing this element should contain text 
which is good morning test user if i hit save it will automatically make sure we see that page i need to log out okay now it looks like it works but i really don't like this selector so what i can do here is i want to delete that and i want to go back to my cypress and i want to find the good selector for this guy i'll right click and inspect and then navigate to there okay looks like it uses h1 h1 generally used once in html structure it has to be used once i mean sometimes some developers can use it multiple times but the general use case is you have to use it just once so what we can do we can actually navigate here by just h1 what i'm going to do i'll go back to visual studio and i'll just type get h1 and it will just get the text based on h1 tag i'll log out and as you can see it actually works right now so this is about it in the next one we will talk about cypress studio how we can speed up this process a little bit more and then we will go into more complex scenarios so stay tuned see you in the next one